destroy the Jedi Knights. The old Republic is crippled. They can do nothing to stop us now. But there is one thing standing in our way. One last Jedi who has yet to choose his true role in the galaxy. If he joins us on the path to darkness, those who fight alongside him will follow. But if he takes the path of a Jedi, those who join him will feel the vengeance of the dark side. How epic was that? Hello guys! Darth what the old friend Darth White on Swipe here, and welcome to my new LP, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 for Sith Lords. How's it going guys? We haven't recorded since August, as you remember, I did the uh, Knights of the Old Republic LP. Still waiting for a few views on that, but I find that kind of highly successful for a beginner. Now we're going on to our second LP, the sequel to that game, The Sith Lords. And yet again, I'm going to do it canonically, as I did last time. As I recall, this game is a bit longer than the other one. And canonically, uh, oh yeah, in this game, you start off as a Jedi, you could be a counselor, a sentinel, or a guardian, but canonically, the exile is a girl, so I'm going to play as a girl. No matter how embarrassing it is for me as a bloke, I've got to play as a girl. And as last at night last time, since I couldn't make up my mind on who to choose as a main character, I'm going to do me my emo test to eliminate one and then flip a coin to make the final decision. So, Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Mo, catch a sailor by the toe. If he pulls, let him go. Eeny, Meeny, Miney Mo. That's the sentinel out, so I'm gonna play it as a guardian or a counselor. As last time, heads, guardian, tails, counselor. Let's see what we get. We've got tails, so we're going to play as a female Jedi counselor. Custom character as always, and as you can see, our old friend character setup. Now, let's choose our portrait. Can I look clear? The exile looks like this, but I want to see what other portraits we've got. I've only completed this game fully twice, so. Um, that means I've not done all the side quests yet, so main story I know, but the side quests I'll be experiencing as a newbie like you guys. So that's going to be fun. Hmm. She looks okay. No thank you. Yeah. No, don't like the motorbike cut. She looks a bit freaky. Uh, oh, she looks nice. Mm, looks a bit darker. 
Oh. Oh, but yeah, I'm going to play as the canonic looking character like I did in my first playthrough. In my first one. Uh, sorry, in my original Let's Play of Kotor 1, played as. As you, if you've watched my old LP, we know that the main protagonist looks epic. So, if you didn't watch me, Kotor 1 LP, go, go watch it now before you watch this. So, let's look at the attributes. This setup, I like to go with loads of charisma because. 14 in charisma because there is an influence system which, instead of a character story like you get in Code Tour 1, like the character inside character side missions, instead you get character influence and that actually progresses into that story. And the more they get to like you, the more. That their alliance is linked to yours because in this you can actually change the alliance, allegiance of your party members. You can make them light side or you can make them dark side. The map in, in tangent to what your light side, dark side allegiance is, which I find is pretty cool. Obviously, Bug boost always up to 10. Got ten points left. I'll leave wisdom. In fact, I've got an extra one in wisdom. Just, just to add it up. I'm not going to upgrade wisdom anymore. In fact, put it in charisma. It's a point cost of two, so we might as well put it into wisdom then. Skills. Um, I'll go with persuade, as all Jedi do. Treat injury as well. Four in that. What else should I do? Repair? Yeah. Do a bit of that. And I'll invest in some security. Because that will be helpful a little bit more down the line. I'm investing in computer use as well. Oh, I haven't got any more skill points left. It's alright. Light, critical strike, flurry, power attack, power blast, rapid shot, sniper shot, weapon focus, weapon proficiency, faster pistol, got blaster rifle proficiency, lightsaber proficiency, melee weapon proficiency, Jedi defense, force focus, Jedi sense, and war veteran. Whew, that took a lot of saying. Let's have a look. And this, oh, I meant, forgot to mention, this game you get a hell of a lot more feats or force powers than in KOTOR 1. Plus the level cap is higher. It's 50 instead of 20. So you get spent a lot of leveling up in this LP. And it's very unlikely that I'll get to the level cap. You can actually make non-class skills a class skill fee so I'm gonna do as my first fee make security a class skill I 
my name. Mitra Surik is the exile's name. But I'm going to create um, my own name. Um, I have no idea what her name is going to be. Let's choose it quick so we've only got five, four minutes left of this video because I'm doing 15 minute videos. Um, Trisha Canelo. this? Is it we have a knock? It is! And who's that doing in the background? There he is, T3, our old friend. Draft the end of the video here. You lie in the medical room in critical condition. You won't survive long without medical attention. Thanks for watching, guys. I made a force be with you always.